I should uh, think about getting veneers uh, at one of my appointments with Dr. Kokel. I never liked my teeth and you know even as a child so I had some bonding done. It lasted for several years and as I got older it just wouldn't hold. I kept breaking it and I, Dr. Kokel mentioned that I should probably think about getting veneers. And you know, it took a long time because they are expensive. And you know, I just had to get to a place where even though I really wanted them all those years, that it just, I had to get to a place where I really didn't feel like I had any other choices. How do you, you feel know? now once you get, now, got them? Now I love them and I wish I had done it sooner. Do you smile more often now? I smile a lot more often now. <laughs> Did people notice though? Like I, your new smile? I don't, I, no one's really said anything about it. I just feel that like I don't have to be self-conscious about it anymore. You know, I don't have to think about it when I want to smile. But that's perfect though. If people don't notice, they think that it's all natural. Right. Which is, which is better. Which is perfect. Yeah. Just now I can smile and talk and laugh freely without feeling like I have to hide my teeth. That's great. Let me see if I have any questions. Do you feel like you would benefit from having them done earlier? Oh, uh, definitely. When you first mm -hmm. thought of veneers? Um, we really entertained the idea back around 2007, 2008, um, during that time frame. And I was in the process of, you know, changing jobs. I was a single mom at the time, and I just felt like I really couldn't afford to do it at that point with the uncertainty of my job situation. But in hindsight, if I had done it then, it would have worked out fine. Yeah. So, um, if you could do this again, would you wait as long as you did? Consider that money is not an issue. Oh, I definitely wouldn't wait. I would have done it a long time ago. Good. Oh, well, I'm glad that you're happy with them. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. And I feel like you, you look much younger. As I, <laughs> as I mentioned before, because yeah. of those like the your mimics has changed and your articulation has changed and muscle kind of stretched out. So yeah, yeah they look beautiful. Thank you. Um, let's see. How did you hear about Dr. Kokel's office? Um, I moved to Leesburg back in 2000. At the time I was going to another dentist that a coworker told me about. Uh, and I went there for probably a year, but I really didn't feel comfortable with that dentist. I There wasn't a trust there, and so I asked um, a woman who worked for an endodontist locally who she would refer, and Dr. Kokel was one of the dentists that she mentioned, uh, so I decided to come here, and I've been coming here ever since. It's probably been 15 years at least. My children were small when we started coming here, and they're both grown now, and they still come here. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go to any other dentist. I'm glad that you're feeling that way. Yeah. Well, because it's it's our number one goal to build a long-lasting relationship with our patient. Because yeah. you know we we want our patient to feel comfortable, and and actually trust us because now dentistry turns it into you know like everything turns into corporate mm -hmm. and you just lose the sense of you know it just doesn't feel there is no trust there because you feel like everybody's rushing and right. production concentrated and oriented and that's the only thing that they're thinking about so we're trying to you know, to fight that as much as possible. Yeah, I've always trusted Dr. Kokel. I've trusted her opinion. Uh, and that's why I keep coming back.
I think she's a great dentist for small children because she's so gentle when she's working on you and she's so careful to make sure she doesn't hurt you. And my children were never afraid when they came here. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of parents actually do take their kids to a pediatrician, but once they come here, they never go back. Yeah. Kids just like her a lot. Well, she has two kids as well. She, right. And she's also teaches Sunday school. So, mm -hmm. you know, she she's good with kids. She's good with anybody. Yeah. Have you met the other doctor? I have. I have. And she's very good too. Okay. Uh, what else can we record? Well, let's pause it.